Today, we're diving into the world of Excel to explore a powerful technique, automatically sorting data when updating your data set. Whether you're managing sales figures, inventory, or any other data, learning how to dynamically sort your data will make your reports more efficient and insightful. Let's jump right in and see how we can achieve this using Excel's latest features and a bit of creativity. First, let's look at the sort function, a game changer for anyone using Microsoft Excel. This function allows us to sort data dynamically without having to manually resort each time data changes. Suppose we have a table with sales data across several regions. We'll start by using the sort function to arrange this data. Here's how. Click on a cell where you want the sorted data to appear. Type an equal sign, then the word sort, and open parenthesis. Then highlight the range of cells you want to sort. This is your array. Next, type a comma and specify the column index you want to sort by in the next argument. For instance, if your sales values are in column C, like in this example, which is the third column, you would use the number 3. Decide whether you want to sort in ascending or descending order. For descending order, use minus 1 as the third argument, or use just 1 without the minus if you want the data to sort in ascending order. Let's use the minus 1 to sort the data in descending order. Close the parentheses and hit Enter. You'll see your data automatically sorted by sales, from the highest to the lowest. The best part? If you update any sales figures, the table will automatically refresh to reflect the new order. But you'll notice that when you add a new record to the data set, the table doesn't automatically update. To handle automatic sorting when new data is added to your data set, we can leverage Excel's table feature along with the sort function. Here's how you can set it up. Select your entire data set by clicking and dragging your mouse over the data. Once you have your data selected, go to the Insert tab on the ribbon and click on Table. Make sure the My Table Has Headers option is checked, then click OK. Tables in Excel are dynamic, which means they automatically expand to include new data when you add new rows or columns. Now that our data is in a table, let's set up the Sort function to keep it organized dynamically. Choose a new location where you want the sorted data to appear. Click on a blank cell and type the equal sign to initiate typing a function, then enter the function name sort, then open parenthesis. For the array, select the range of your table, like table 1 if that's the name of your table. Then, specify the column index you want to sort by. For instance, if your sales values are in the third column like mine, you would use the number 3. Decide on the sort order, using negative 1 for descending order to see the highest sales first, or just 1 for ascending order if you prefer the lowest sales first. Let's use the positive 1 to sort this one in ascending order. Close the parentheses and press Enter. With this setup, your data will be automatically sorted by sales from lowest to highest. The best part is that as you update any sales figures, the table will automatically refresh to reflect the new order. Now let's look at how we can handle new data being added. Since our data is in a table, adding new data is simple. Just go to the last row of your table, click on the row just below it, and start entering your new data. The table automatically expands to include the new data, and because we use the sort function, the sorted list will automatically update to include the new entries in the correct order. This approach is incredibly powerful because it saves you time and effort by keeping your data sorted and organized without needing to manually adjust anything. Your sorted list will always be up to date with the latest information. And there you have it. We've covered several ways to dynamically sort your data in Excel. These techniques will help you maintain clean and up-to-date spreadsheets, making your data analysis more efficient and effective. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up Subscribe for more Excel tips and tricks, and leave a comment if you have any questions or topics you'd like us to explore. Thanks for watching and happy Excelling!